a custom 120 spear gun ready to slay some kingfish. Stay tuned for the upcoming video and find out the specs. Welcome back to another video everybody, I'm Sam Price from RxS Enterprises down here in the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. As mentioned in the intro, this video right now is about this here, Custom 120. I'm just going to rattle you through what this gun is about from pretty much start to finish. Um, we're going to start with the gun stock itself. Now this is a 120, this is a custom request, it is obviously a little bit bigger than what has been an overwhelmingly popular request of a 110. It's set up basically um, identical, just with that another 10 centimeters of length. It is the Alpo model. The timber in this is a Seligna and Matai mix. It looks bloody brilliant. It is a five laminate total stock. Um, we've got one, two, three across and one, two top and bottom, and it looks bloody cool with the contrasting of timbers. Exceptionally strong stock, exceptionally well performing, and of course, coupled with the clear e-glass sides. Now, I prefer a bit of color to mine, um, which I would just believe is, separates them from everything else. This one right here is a clear composite sides. Of course, there is fiberglass on the sides of this, but just with a clear resin mix. It stayed true to the whole um, timber look and looks bloody good, as well as, of course, that increased durability um, with the composite sides and the full epoxy finish on the stock. Now, trigger, a big part of a what I would hope to be able to advertise as a New Zealand made gun um, and New Zealand components is of course the mech from the reverse mech, stainless mech from Spear Gun Engineering Duncan, Duncan Henderson down in Wellington. This is actually the last mech I will be using from him just due to supply issues. Um, really solid performing mech, well designed, light, very light mech and just overall a really strong mech. Um, kind of a bit disappointing to not be using these in the future but um, customer here is lucky to get the last one that I will be using probably for potentially forever. We've got as all the other guns are supplied with the Neptonics AR-15 handle just an incredibly robust um, durable solid performing nice feeling handle no nonsense um, we've got the hex socket in there so you can take that off these are actually supplied I'll send this to the customer in a PVC tube um, which won't actually fit into the tube with the handle on it goes it goes with the allen key and he can put this on himself which is great for the future use um, with travel we've also got neptonics guides um, which is pretty pretty plain and basic stainless parts one um, addition to this gun is of course reel mounts standard for the hunt reels now the customer did not want a reel at the stage but of course now with the reel plugs on there it can just be sent down to him he can fit it himself if in the future he cho so chooses um, that he needs one for 170 bucks uh, with line and everything like that on it now for the power side of the gun, as mentioned, um, this is set up just like the majority of the other 110s with two 16mm rubbers, full Dyneema tied bands, um, we have no plastic in there, they're all tied with a couple of very specific knots, um, and I do leave the final trimming up to the customer because I do like a really tight band, and we can customer can tweak these the length of these um, just for himself to adjust the tension on the rubber and for the ease of loading and that balance between the maximum power and ease of loading we have a 7.5 mil hunt shaft exceptional shafts there's a lot of punch in this gun a 7.5 mm shaft with two 16 mil bands now of course you do need a fair bit of band power to get a 7.5 mm shaft and vice versa you don't want to overpower a shaft with two 16 mil really tight bands this is going to pack a lot of punch which um made me have, have a little chuckle when he wanted just a little b at the butterfish length so i just um, this measurement here is actually the legal butterfish length which I had a bit of a chuckle to myself at the poor unsuspecting butterfish that are going to also get shot with this gun so really the biggest request for this gun and from the customer was he wanted a really nice powered up gun um, to shoot kingfish with and of course day to day use this is not completely overpowered it's not anywhere near a blue water gun but it still packs a heck of a punch and all of this for $790 New Zealand delivered to you nationwide so that's pretty much it 
really fantastic gun really stoked to see how this one's going to go looks great feels great in the hand and i'm sure it's going to mow down some kingfish in the upcoming months and lastly you can of course feel free to get along and click on the playlist which is popping up in a card right now down in the description below i have a very extensive playlist for all the spear fishing equipment fins merch uh, other gun builds vlogs basically everything is on there any links anything contact details will be down below in the description you can get along to Oxys TV which is my second channel which is up to date with vlogs and everything else that's happening feel free to get in touch or ask me any questions if you're looking for your own kind of gun I will be updating uh, with new mechs and things coming hopefully very soon I'm Sam Price I'll see you at the beach